Well then, that was quite fast. iOS 10.2.1 Beta 1 is already here. Just a couple days ago, Apple released iOS 10.2, and now we're on the next upcoming firmware. Let's talk about what this might mean, new features, just the usual when Apple releases an update. And I cannot wait until the day when I say, what's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, Apple just released night mode or a complete dark mode in iOS. Unfortunately, this is not the firmware to do that. So. What is included in this firmware? What's new? What's changed? Officially, there is no uh, change log, nothing like that. Apple hasn't said they've gone and fixed anything, but I'm going to tell you one thing that this probably fixes the calendar spam. So I have not received any new spam, but the existing old ones are still here asking me to go buy some Uggs, which is nice. Might have to snag a couple of those on for sale. What? They're 60% off. Damn, I gotta get these now. But my personal hunch is that the calendar spam bug was fixed in this firmware and that Apple is implementing some sort of battery fix feature for the instant draining. And I gotta tell you, I am affected by this bug. I have one iPhone 6S in particular that dies at 20, 30% every single time for no reason. 35%, I think it was the last time. So I'm very excited for this updates and the success that I have that does that isn't covered under Apple's warranty program. So hopefully iOS 10.2.1 is the one that's going to fix this. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the Geekbench scores. I want to see if there's any difference here, but just using it, I haven't really noticed anything. iOS 10.2 has done wonders for my phone. It feels really good. I mean, very stable. I've actually uh, even noticed a couple smaller features that I wanted to share with you that I didn't in my original video, but just after I show you the Geekbench. So let's run that. All right, so on 10.2.1, still maintaining the high 5700 multi-core score. 3423 single, which is looking a little weak for me, but overall pretty similar to 10.2. So can't say I feel much of a difference there, uh, but let me show you before and after the storage. So 50.97 before updating at 50.99 after. So it gave me just uh, like 20 megabytes back. Cool, cool. I actually wanted to show you a couple of features before in 10.2 that I missed, starting with the fact that in weather widgets, you will now see the minus sign next to the actual Fahrenheit. So it's capable of going into the minus instead of uh, just saying a number. I don't know why this was overlooked, but this was pointed out by a Reddit user. So very nice to notice that. And a change that made me very happy was in the music app Application. Whenever you go to search, it, these two buttons have been reversed now. So your library is on the right with Apple Music on the left. Previously, it was the opposite, which makes it a little bit easier to search through your music, especially if you use Apple Music. Uh, it'll go ahead and search all of that first. And the best, best change in iOS 10.2 is the ability to slide on brightness and sound easier. Now, almost every single time when you go and click on it, it doesn't swipe the page over. It makes it so much easier when you're not sliding like this every single time you try and change the brightness. So not a lot of people notice this, but it definitely has gotten easier. It's like the footprint of the little button has grown, so you're not sliding on the page anymore. So that's iOS 10.2.1. I'm going to be keeping an eye on this, seeing if there are any new features, but that's just about it. I suspect that this fixes the calendar spam bug and some sort of battery implementation. The fix uh, should be in there too. And I wanted to address the fact that a lot of people, I'm not wearing mine right now, but the Apple Watch uh, the update 3.1.1 was pulled. So it was causing some Apple watches to get bricked and I was trying to install it all day yesterday, kept getting verification errors. So if you guys have that error, no worry, Apple's gonna release a updated build number for that so you can update your Apple watch soon. That's iOS 10.2.1 for you. Stay tuned for more updates. Peace.